Welcome back, B plus E. Family, all right, fam. Well, the adventures bring us out to Palm Springs. Y'all, y'all been requesting us for the longest time. You know, show us a little bit more of California. Show us a little bit more of where to go ahead and stay, where to eat. This other whole... than Disneyland, that is a huge question mark you guys have, and we love Palm Springs. Oh yeah, so we're here for the food. We're gonna go ahead and show you some great gluten-free spots, some great uh, things to do during the day, during the evening, and of course where we're staying too. So. Grab the snacky snacks. And let's roll. Located on East Palm Canyon and South Palm Canyon. Blink and you'll miss this spot. It's a, literally a hole in the wall. I, Disneyland's not the only place you get ice cream for breakfast. It's <laughs> <laughs> total Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Take 27. Okay, I need to have the coffee first because I'm, I'm trying to talk to you guys and I just can't. So I got myself a little cold brew from uh, the one and only Cream. Now, we usually come to the spot here uh, and of course next door for the crepes, uh, which they have uh, savory crepes and gluten friendly crepes, but they don't open until 11 a.m. and it's still way, 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 way too early. So I'm going to dig into this, guys, because mine is melting. Here we go. That coffee tastes delicious. Right? They have delicious mm. coffee. Mm. This was made with love. The vanilla <laughs> just adds like a little bit of sweetness. Mm. That is so good. Way better than Honestly, Disney, right? Way yeah. Better. This was around seven dollars, but it's worth it because it's so good. It's no, yeah. Easy. Coffee, it's small, ice cream. It's a small business, you know, we like to support locals. Claro, claro que sí. Uh got myself a cold brew. This is delicious, a little bit of uh, cream in it, and that's all I need. Honestly, it hits. Um but as I was saying, you know, we're here. We're going to go ahead and enjoy just a, a few things that we like to go ahead and do. The foodie spots, the adventures, and what's up, Kim? All right. Coffee was delicious. That was a nice way to wake up. Finally, I can talk to you guys. And with that said, we well, need food. Well, with that said, I was going to say, write that place down because that was so worth it. The, the best part about, like, you know, coming out here is that there's so many little, like, like I said, you blink and you miss spots. Actually, speaking of uh, blinking and missing spots, the next spot we're gonna go to, because uh, y'all, y'all, y'all know we, we we love our Mexican food, gluten friendly <laughs> eats. I, uh, I oh, actually have two God. that I would like to go ahead and cover on this vlog. I don't know if we'll make it to what? both, mainly because we also have our favorite Thai place, which we're gonna hit up, and then of course other spots to come in. Okay, so first and foremost, we're being hosted by Spirit of Sophia here in Palm Springs. Now, this isn't your normal uh, spot. This is actually a resort. Now, you can either go ahead and do a rental of a single unit, you know, typical stay, or you can rent the whole entire spot out. We're talking about 12 units here, uh, and this is only one of two that they have here. And what's amazing is you get a whole private pool, you get a whole barbecue area. Which is really nice, and you're not fighting for an umbrella, you're not fighting for a spot. You can dip into the pool whenever you like. It's honestly so nice. I love the layout. We love that there's great spots to have your morning coffee, maybe even read a book, just relax. Really have that quiet, serene spot out here in the desert. One of the things that they're most popular for is like hosting bridal parties, like family reunions. There's great places to entertain. Seriously, a very intimate spot for you, your friends, family. I know it's daytime, but Check out this fire pit to roast up some marshmallows and eat some yummy s'mores. Lit up hot tub. Granted, it's, it's covered up right now because, well, you know, we, we got to go eat food first before we try it, but still, still. If you need a bigger party, bigger pool, bigger everything, they have another uh, part right next to it for more accommodations. Uh, we'll have all the information listed below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But seriously, great spots for entertainment. The pizza oven. I'm telling you, the barbecue sp uh, spot here is incredible there's even a big suite for it as well perfect little nooks to go ahead and hide away in its own private hot tub here Thang right in. and the weather is so nice honestly it's just amazing this is a vibe on its own whether you rent just a single suite for yourself book out the whole entire resort for for your friends or just for yourself come in uh and everything is so local uh love the place love the place yeah honestly. it's so romantic as well and this is just a perfect getaway in palm springs come in. wait the decor in here loving it wait Back what image <laughs> Yes, so I ended up ordering the cheese shell tacos with carne asada, one was with chicken, and added the hot Cheeto on top of it for $2 extra. Yeah. How good does this look? And it has avocado, 
I am gonna put a little bit of the limoncito on top of it. Ooh, man, this looks delicious. Let's see how well this shell holds up. That's what I'm curious about. Feels like it's gonna be a, a, a mess, but you know, we're living for it. Provecho. That was a big bite. <laughs> she won't be able to talk for a minute. It's okay. It looks good. It smells good. Oh my gosh. Highly reviewed. Great little spot. Opens up a little bit earlier than most places here in Palm Springs. Just because like, you know, here, like, unless you go to a brunch spot like that's open early, early, like everything opens up like around 11. So you got, you know, during the weekday, during the weekday, and the weekdays, um, or weekends, they have it on the most temprano, but still, you want good food? That was so good. <laughs> Actually, the cheese is pretty crunchy, so you still get texture and like a dynamic bite even though it's cheese and not a hard shell as or a tortilla that's very delicious i'm just like dancing dancing the happy dance I had to go with the quesadilla tacos, so that's exactly what you heard. It's a quesadilla as like the base with the carne asada. It all looks good. Buena patada. Now, granted, you are you are paying full patada meal for it, but it's worth it. It's something unique, very tasty, local business. Right as all this, <laughs> I don't believe you, dude. <laughs> I started, you know, one, one sabor. And granted, I have the straw, the tomatoes, the pico de gallo, todo. I didn't eat it. I went classic, traditional on it. That'd be a sabroso. Give me a sabroso. Okay, so Becky asked for water, which she never does. Y luego le traen la botella. Hey, it's awesome. What do you expect? Es la agua ardiente. All right, that was good. That was fire. Uh, honestly, like that was really filling. Like. Becky almost didn't come, finish off her meal, and like I barely struggled to like actually complete it, like to comerlo todo. It was all. Like, it was a comida. Lot. Yeah, it was a good portion size food, and then on top of that, the ambiance is really nice, lively music. And Becky it was said so they were cool. playing Mexican music, and I'm like, Carlos Santana is Mexican. I like. wasn't talking about Carlos Santana. I was talking about some <laughs> other songs they were playing because they weren't playing straight up. It was a mix, so okay. it was nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> but either way, uh, you know, great food. It's estilo Baja California, so it's not your, like, typical Mexican food that like, you eat from every every spot. And if you're not familiar with, like, Mexican food, like, it's very regional, just like American cuisine is as well. So that's what I love about Mexico, that you can go ahead and have Mexican food, but it's never really, like, the same, like, every anywhere or everywhere. You know what I mean? Now I can say I've had my first cheesy shell taco in Palm Springs with <laughs> hot Cheeto dust. But it is a good one. The vibe, it's, it's very awesome. Again, it's it's right off like the main street right there like, when you go drive through like that downtown Palm Springs, which is very cool. Actually, right now, we're going to go ahead and burn off these calories by uh, climbing a mountain. So uh, from Palm Springs to Idaho without having to drive. First tram is at 10 a.m. Last one's at 8 p.m. We're going to make sure we don't stay up on the mountain. <laughs> right? Look, Disney's here. It's Smokey the Bear. <laughs> FYI, though, it's a kind of a steep climb on the car uh, when you drive up. And you are like told to turn off your AC just because like the incline is nuts. So just be careful with your car uh, when driving up here. That's FYI. A history museum? I'm sold. I'm in. Ooh. How long has this been here? 1940s is when it was proposed to go ahead and have a tram out here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now we all ourselves have only driven to Idaho. Um, I used to live like not that far from Idaho years ago, um, like near the Morongo area. And so like I used to drive up there and I, to me it's still one of my favorite like like mountain towns to go visit. I love the people, the food, just it's it's very quaint, very special. And so when I got to meet Becky, I, I had to go ahead and like bring up to it. There's like lost content like on the channel here and other channels um, that we've uh, you know visited and played Pokemon Go and all this other fun stuff, which is very, really, really fun. So. Dude, I've been on the tram only one time and I was so small. And this is kind of giving nostalgia vibes because I remember that like waiting area nothing really else But like that's very prominent in my mind. So this is crazy So in case you're wondering how big that track rope is it's right there One inch that one to seven eight inch or 47.55 millimeters in diameter That's that's but it, it's it's all like tied down, but still I feel safe Seeing that yeah, and this is, this is the pulley system that it goes on 
that it rolls across. Oh, that's crazy. Look at this big rope. The haul rope. That's a tight rope. There's only two haul ropes pulling over five miles of cable that pull the tram cars along the track ropes. It's only yeah. two, but two. I mean, it's safe. So that's the important part. All right, we'll check out the cafe real quick in a minute, but merchy merch time. I know, I want to go into the gift shop. <sighs> the Palm Springs aerial tramway okay okay you got you got some exclusive stuff 16 bucks for this shirt that's not bad to remember your little trip okay. that bonito. i like that it actually says the palm springs aerial tramway i just love our bear 24.99 well it's the best of both worlds see okay. dude that sweater's a vibe 44.99 oh, so cheaper than this <laughs> <laughs> oh you can take games up with you that's very cool for los niños domino set play some bones the nice. Uh, these are super cool. I used to like playing with those. All the little sand ones? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I love this sweater. It that, goes with my hair. It does. $39.99. That's a nice one. I like the design. It's See. so well done. The gray one's nice too with that like padding. That yeah. tell. That's actually my look right there. Right? This is nice. $49.99. You gusta. Oh, this is cool. I love mementos like this where it's like the best year and it's like a moment captured in time. What the housing market was, gas was, top hits in movies. They only have the good years on this. I like it. <laughs> Food time. You know, we, I know we just ate, but it's important to know if you came hungry, because that's a drive, yes. you know, to know what you're going to go ahead and get into. Coffee, draft beer, wine, cold food, cold drinks. Let's go. I'm all for this, 100%. There it goes. That's a smooth ride. No, maybe, no. I'm Batman. Perfect, thank you. What in the lucky rabbit? Oh my gosh. We get rocket raccoon. Is it a rabbit? Yes. It's not a rabbit. That's what Thor calls him. Oh. All other towers and the Oh, it's like soaring. Dude, I think this is way better than a theme park ride. This is way cool. No, this is this is B plus E soaring over the over California. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Babe, you have to say your catchphrase right here. Está bonito. Ah, sí, está bonito. <laughs> 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 uh, Montaña Rusa. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, approaching tower number three. This one has a larger swing. You might okay. Want to you may have blocked it out, dude. This is intense. <laughs> We're over the My heart is racing right now. <laughs> I need everybody to go directly inside the building. You'll land on the second level. Right above us on the third floor is access to food, drinks, and viewing decks. Nice. First floor is exit out to the state park. We're at a parting every 15 minutes. Last car down tonight will be 9.30. That's when you don't want to miss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you do, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is nice out here. I'm used to doing like trails and like dirt roads. You like real questions. Don't get me wrong. Like it, it, there's, there's steeps and it's going to be tough on the way up, which I'm looking forward to working the calves. This is still not training for the 5k, by the way. Yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> but From all the walking uphill we've been doing? Yeah. yeah, it is. Now, you know, mind you, we left Palm Springs and it was like 99 degrees. The car was like, it's getting hot. Let getting me up. know. Yes. It was, it was a tough one just because again, that incline is tough, but you know, out here, el aire está fresco. It's very, very fresh. It's mountain fresh. Yes. It feels good to be out here. This is a nice way to be like, you know what? Why are we in the desert? And a lot of people are like, why would you visit Palm Springs during like the summer? Well, like you can have a great breakfast. Then, you know, the, the trams open up like around 10. So you make it up here 
you spend the rest of your day up here in the summer and it's beautiful i mean it's a, to be out here in the state park is lovely there's places to go eat todo eso um you can even no, stay out awesome. here in camp like it, it's really nice it's super relaxing too very different from the hustle and bustle of disneyland or other theme parks this is just like chill let's uh take our minds off all the electronics and everything like that and be in the moment well that's the thing not all electronics have signal up here so that is a nice getaway let's face it sometimes you need to have that chat with the familia um get to know one-on-one -on -one a little bit better mm -hmm. as, as we all grow and develop and sometimes you just need that good escape from like you know technology and the hustle and bustle this is this is nice this is nice you know what i love about up here you can listen to the wind yeah. Paint with all the colors of the wind. I, <laughs> only, only the primary colors. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's a running creek through here. Like seriously, take a nap. Dude, Just... It's breathtaking and you can hear so many sounds. The birds, the water, the wind. It's honestly magnificent. What do you smell it? Yo, this is a Jeff tree. If you close your eyes, oh, it smells like really? butterscotch. It's the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. <laughs> In the tree. Dude, it really does smell like that. Right. Oh my gosh. Mmm, nature smells good. <laughs> it smells like butterbeer. <laughs> <laughs> no cap, seriously, it does. It's, it's a wild one for sure. Okay, so we made it all the way to the ranger station. And one of the reasons, like, I wanted to bring you guys over here is because you can bring, like, your day camping, like, stuff with you. Or, I mean, just your camping stuff. Now, you will need to go ahead and check in with, like, the ranger station. Shout out to the B plus C band members at Archery Park Rangers. We, you know, we know we keep you company uh, for the night. It's uh, obviously quite a double So, very love. cool. But I just want to show you the trails. I haven't done these in a long time. Um, for the trailhead, Willow Creek, Round Valley, San Jacinto Peak. Like, I've camped out here before, but never come out this side to go ahead and camp it. That's so, pretty cool. maybe one day. It'd be nice. Granted, we probably wouldn't be able to live stream from over here, but still be cool. It'd be cool. And that comes the hard part, the uphill. You know what? Six Flags repaired us pretty well, though. But we'll see because we just started. That is true. I mean, we, we go to Six Flags a lot in triple digit weather and do the hills. <laughs> okay, we made it to Civilization. We're actually at one of the lookout views, um, back at like the main top top spot, which is very nice. Uh, you can get tricky drinks and like food. We might grab a snack. I don't know. We'll see how we are. I, I'm proud of myself. We, we burned a lot of calories. I'm uh, I'm very fresh right now. <laughs> but how are you liking it? It's it's very unique. You know, you said you got to do this as a kid, so it's very different. It's way different though, because as, as an adult, I'm actually enjoying it a lot. As a kid, I don't know. I just remember certain like snippets of that day but not the full spectrum of what we did yeah but this is really nice like i love nature and this is just breathtaking views i'm loving it. it's also like romantic vibes no yeah if you guys are digging this like let us know and we might uh, revisit during like the winter season oh. that way we can park the car down here and then just like take it take it up and see the transition of like the snow and then come play and do a little snow day i think it'd be that fun would be nice. it'd be nice uh but let us know in regards to it you know as, as we're enjoying you know covering this yeah guys just know for the members you guys know that you we're already covering like all the hidden gems of food spots you know not only in anaheim but like anywhere that we can like uh, you know find that's like really worth going to especially anything that we visited or visit during the year around you know if we're headed out to redlands for the spooky season stuff you know we found food stuff over there like the ie yeah. oc everywhere. LA, everywhere everywhere so everywhere. so you know we, uh but this is a mini series of what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh so the most coveted and most wanted places uh for the b plus c fam for us to go ahead and show you i know it may not come through but the view is spectacular Las Vegas is somewhere over there. Somewhere over there. Somewhere over there. Way, way over there. And to give you an idea of like where we're staying, we're like all the way over there, like somewhere down there. We're far. Dude, this is wild. See, I don't remember doing all of this. I think we I did more with you than that trip with well, my parents. That's what I've always done, is I've always made sure like you get to see the world and explore. That's why Japan's like important coming up. Not for so much for like the theme park part, but like just explore in general. No, it's crazy. We're super blessed. I feel so blessed right now to be even doing this and experiencing it. Mm -hmm. And to think it's not that far from where we live. Yeah. It's just down the street basically. Or you, if you know you have a day off and you're out here in the park, it's like you can literally come visit another park and it's an adventure. And it doesn't really break the bank. I mean, we are, especially because you can include it with food. You can yeah. be out here for a few hours. Yeah. And we are going to have links to the aerial tramway down in the description as mm -hmm. well. Okay, we're going to pick up these two. Because, you know, for toothpicks and stuff. 
<laughs> I smile, our favorite place in Palm Springs. Yay. I don't even know I have been craving spicy squid from this place. In fact, you got the gluten friendly uh, pad thai right there Look, with the shrimp. They make it like that. They make it gluten friendly. That's why I like it here because everything is labeled. I don't even have to ask. And I've been craving this like crazy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's steamy. Mm -hmm. It's good. Like, And plus with the chili. Mm. It's going to be good. Okay. Here's the first bite, guys. We got to taste it before we like down it in that chili. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It hits. It, it's a memory, that's why. It's, it's so good. Is that what? Yeah. It's so flavorful. I love the, the noodles and the sauce that they use. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, I'm happy. I love the veggies. I love the rice. I love the squid. And I love that it's spicy. Barrino pa ojo pa tanto pa hinto. You don't even know what makes me so happy. Crunchiness from the vegetables, a chewy squid, cooked perfectly, and the spicy sauce is just is so welcoming. It makes you just want to go in for another bite and another bite. And the rice is just excellent to go ahead and cut through that sauce. Mmm. Okay, my favorite here. Yeah, no, this place is so fire, guys. Honestly, it was a great one, a fun one. Uh, big shout out to Spirit of uh, Sofia for hosting us. Truly had a great time. And, you know, we just love coming to Palm Springs. So many celebrations done. Uh, a great little spot to go ahead and just do a getaway, a staycation, even at best. And, you know, there's there's so much more to do. And we can't wait to come back and even show you the other foodie spots that we have. And maybe even find some new ones as well. So I do have and the Palm Springs glow. I love the hike. Everything that we did on this trip was top notch. And we're definitely going to be coming back and exploring even more things to do. And the secret emote for the end of this vlog is going to be the palm for the Palm Springs. Love y'all. We'll catch Bye. you next one.